Can we have another round of applause for the beautiful work we done? That was beautiful, thank you so much. And thank you for triggering interest in symbolism and Islamic art, because we tend to learn only Western art in college for those who go into fine arts, so thank you. Next up, we have our very humble featured poet, Ali Subah, and I say humble because he would not give me an introduction about himself, but when I listen to his poetry, I get goosebumps and I shed some tears. Ali is an 18-year-old Arab-American poet, and he's a recent high school graduate. Please help me welcome Ali Subah. Thank you guys. Uh, how's everyone feeling today? Good? You guys are good? So, um, usually when I write a poem, it's in my, it's in my to perform it, um, or at least every poem that I've performed. But today I'll be sharing a bunch of poems that um, just pretty much have been scraps, things I've wrote but never actually got to share. So these are just a bunch of poems. Um, yeah. So they're like seven short ones. How do you bunch them? What is it? How do you bunch them like a bunch of... Uh... <laughs> like, a, like flowers in a vase. Okay. Children playing, reminding me of when I used to be a child. Children playing, asking stupid questions, but questions still worth responding to. Children playing, reminded me when we were kids. Back then, imagination was our favorite game. One of my favorite games, alligator we called it, Pretty self-explanatory. One person was the alligator and everyone else runs away. I would still choose that game over anything we do today. Now, conversation is shallow. Imagination is dull. How about when we used to have art contests? One person was the judge and it went something along the lines of, hey, let's see who can draw a house the best. And we drew with excitement. And we would pick the winner, not based on who actually had the better drawing, but because Hey, let's piss off my brother, or your sister, or, 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 let's get really dramatic and piss off each other. Children playing. And I remember when we were children, we used to have sleepovers. Now we oversleep in the matrix. Children laughing. And it reminds me of when I used to laugh. Thank you so much. For me. Slowly by slowly, you're losing us. Slowly and slowly, we're slipping through your hands, and there's so little you can do about it. One day, we'll march out and rebel against the same kingdom that fed us. We will rebel with the sword of being 18, and we will swing with its freedom against the kingdom that will try to shoot us as we run away. One day, this house will be the graveyard of my presence. One day, I'll come back for my own funeral and see how my remains have ruined the soil how nothing grows here but a kingdom's regret and confusion as to what it did wrong. You will look at me and I will look disguised, but it will just be who I have wanted to be for so long, finally free, in the face of that which I hid myself from. But this is years from now. Now I will run. Thank you. So, that's nice. that's nice. so I have three love poems. I never ever performed a love poem ever. So this is my first time performing poems about love. All poetry Woo! is love. Yeah. That's, All poetry is love poetry. That's true. I agree. I agree. You have become my drug. Seeing you first laugh was my first puff out of a cigarette that was calling my name and lips that couldn't say no. How can you say no to ashes that still burn brighter than the torch I was carrying? I leave it all behind now. And I let you, my drug, enter my blood system and let you lay your foundation in the deepest of my roots. Roots that have already reached my mind and can't seem to leave. Roots that grow, grow leaves of good memories of you that make me smile. But when I no longer have you, my cigarette, my drug, and without you, these roots only become stronger but become angry. And I am left with the thoughts of holding you and you are not here. Like a drug, I'm addicted, but like roots, you make me grow. And I realize that not all cigarettes kill you, not the ones I call your lips, not the smoke that's released from your eyes when they squint, that I inhale, that is the first time I inhale smoke and, I, and love the smell. You are in my blood system, 
like a cigarette, your outskirts are wrapped around me, keeping me in, falling in love once more, being, in, being afraid and missing you for the sake of hoping that one day we will burn together and become one flame that still hides from the dark. So that's all. Wow. I'm the walls in your room that stare at you while your back is toward me. I'm these walls that are jealous of your bed because it catches you when you're dreaming. I'm this bed that's jealous of your pillow because it's what hugs you at your head at night. I'm this pillow that's jealous of your blanket because it shields you from the cold. I'm this coldness that was created from your coldness. And the only thing that will unfreeze me is your touch. I'm this blanket that's jealous of the air because it now kisses your neck and has replaced me. I'm jealous of any boy because he is closer to you than I'll ever be. I will conquer the world and fit it in this heart that is no longer whole, that has a few holes. The world might leak within me, but I'll hand you this imperfect world with my imperfect love, with an imperfect attempt to make your imperfect self speak your perfect words to my imperfect ears that will imperfectly mess this up again, but wouldn't that be perfect? I'm learning to take things one step at a time instead of moving too, too fast and tripping over myself. So I learn to speak to you once every while and let it be. I'm picking slowly at this iceberg, slowly and slowly, chipping away the, the bits that tell me I'm unwanted. I'm slowly pulling this raft in that led you to drift away from me. And I would unload you off it and let you live with me on an island that doesn't promise anything but freedom. Because I know at one point, I stole that from you. Um, maybe, oh, yeah, okay. maybe the stars might get a chance to kiss you before I do. And maybe the world might end while I'm still chasing you. You have become now my religion. I have and will worship you forever. But I am far from heaven, the place that I call home, the only place that lays within you. You carry a place underneath your skin. When you left, my happiness followed you. And so I will always follow you, hoping my happiness chooses to stop letting its hands stick to your back and can finally come back to me. My happiness was like an old friend that wanted to be your friend as soon as it met you. The kid that used to run freely in the fields of life is now running to leave it. But every now and then when I am at the border of leaving the fields of life, I meet you once more and my happiness peeks from your shoulder and waves at me. And your smile promises better days. And for those few moments, I feel life flourishing within me for the first time in a long time. So maybe I don't need to call you mine to be happy. I can wave back at my happiness every time I see you. And maybe, well, that will be enough for me. Um, so this, is, this is the last poem it's called To Sing Away. My identity has turned into different ingredients that have been stirred. I am in a cage and I still sing. I am the singing caged bird. I am a vibration with an echo dying to be heard. With an exception to myself, I have put everybody else first and it hurts. I am in a cage and I still sing. I am the singing caged bird. But where I'm from, music is banned and causes those who love me but hate it to rage. I don't know what else to do, I fall victim to this cage. I am a vibration with an echo dying to be heard. You would think that an echo is loud and it will be bound, that I will be found, but darkness is just as fast as light and the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. In other words, it will be too late. There's a story I'm dying to tell, but I'm too afraid because it's all heartbreak and if bowing to your order is what it's gonna take, then I'm waiting till I'm old enough to pack my bags and I'll run away. And don't beg me to stay because this caged bird doesn't think twice when it sees an open gate. I've held my tongue because I've been too considerate of your feelings. And in the process, I have reversed the concept of healing. So now there is a poison on my soul. It's a shame on who do you blame me for leaving. I produce music with no music because I am music. The bird is in the cage with no one else, so tell me, whoever taught it how to sing. Go ahead, take everything. The bird is still music, even if it's alone. 
so you can take all of my playlists along with my phone and on top of that will be my headphones and if you're really still bored i will even hand you my piano board i am still music i am music with a rhythm and you never learned how to dance you know nothing about it because this cage was made out of soundproof glass no one knows any of my songs and that's why i lose it you hold the power of this cage but damn you abuse it you put me here as a baby bird, but I'm close to becoming an eagle and you are clueless. Open the gate or not, sooner or later I'll tear it all down. I will soon fly over every town and sing. I will get to finally sing my songs to the world. Thank you guys. Woo!